Um, so I forget exactly where we were, but uh, I couldn't run it because I needed to update my version of Godot. So it's a good reminder to keep your software updated. Um, so anyway, let's take a look at this uh, script for a second. Uh, so we have our NPC, and here we have our settings for uh, the dialog. So there's a dialog resource, which we just need to load uh, the dialog that we created. So I'm going to click uh, load and go to my dialog folder and load this bird NPC. And then I have to tell it where to start. Uh, the default value here is start, so you can just use that. But if you have multiple different ones, you can replace that with something else. Uh, and then there's a trigger on enter. Um, and you can use this to either turn the trigger on enter on or off. Um, we'll see what it looks like with it on. And then there's also this uh, property for a dialogue balloon. So I'm not going to go into too much detail with this because it'll take more time. But uh, you'll see what the default dialogue balloon looks like. And you can actually modify it. Um, so I'll go over that in a second. Let's just take a look at the default first. Um, so I'm going to try running this scene. And so when I walk over to my NPC, uh, Oh, I forgot, actually, I always forget to do this. I forgot to uh, connect the signal. Let's go back to our uh, NPC. And we do have one signal that we need to connect if we're using the trigger on enter, um, or probably either way, which is the body entered. So when the player actually enters the area, we have to connect that to our script. Um, and so there's an on body entered. And actually, there's an on body exited too. I forgot we need to get rid of the dialog. So uh, we want to connect that as well. Um, so just make sure that that connects in the right place. And then body exited, we're going to do the same thing. So we do have to connect those two signals uh, in the area node to the script. Um, so that should be the last setup that we have to do. Let's try it again. Okay, so when I enter, uh, oh, that's not good. Anyway, uh, let's try that one more time. Uh, when I enter, since it's set to trigger on enter, it should just start the dialogue. Um, it shouldn't keep moving the player. I'll have to look at, at what's happening with that. But anyway, we see the dialogue. And then if we hit Enter, it'll just go through the dialogue. And then when an option comes up, you can either click with the mouse or you can hit up and down with the keyboard. And you can choose an option. And you'll get a different reaction from the bird. And then when we end the dialogue, uh, we'll see that end. Uh, I'm going to, so there does seem to be a bug with the character moving. So I'll fix that later. Um, but we can also turn off trigger on enter. And what this will do is it'll, it'll ask us to start the dialogue. So now when I go over here, instead of immediately starting the dialogue, it'll show, uh, the, it'll show the, um, hit enter to talk label that I created before. And if I hit enter, that will start my dialogue. Uh, so there's a couple options. Of course, you can extend that and do more stuff with that. You can change the design. Um, those are just kind of the basic options. Um, if you want to change the way the dialogue balloon looks, that's sort of like the basic. But if you want to change the design, you can. And there's a tool that's built in for that. If you go to Project and Tools, um, part of the Dialogue Manager system is this uh, tool here to create a copy of the dialogue balloon. So if I create a copy here, I'm going to put it in my dialog folder. Uh, but I'm going to make a new folder because it's going to get kind of complicated. So I'm going to make something called my balloon because there's a few files in here. And then I'm going to select that. So in the file system now, if we look at my balloon, you can see there's a new balloon scene and a script related to it. And so if we put this balloon scene and script in that uh, property, it'll override the regular balloon design with whatever we do here. Uh, there should be, it doesn't look like there's anything in here, so that's a little weird. Uh, but you can design this stuff. I don't know why there's nothing here. Uh, there should be like the default design and you can change it. Um, 
Anyway, uh, this is a little bit more advanced, and he has a video where he talks about this, so I'm not going to go into too much detail here. Um, but yeah, so the last thing uh, I was just going to mention is that you can have a scene that's just dialogue, um, but you would need a different script. So this script is waiting for the player to enter. Uh, but if you wanted a scene that is just dialogue, essentially you would just want um, the part here that says dialogue uh, manager dot show example dialogue balloon just to automatically trigger when you open the scene. Um, so if that's something that you want to do, it's pretty easy. We could go over how to do it. Uh, but anyway, that's our, our basic dialogue system. Um, again, if you go to the docs here, you'll see there's a lot more options of things that you can do. Um, and so you may want to kind of play around and, uh, and search around for different stuff if you have specific ideas for what you want to happen with the dialogue. Um, but uh, this is a pretty good way, I think, just to implement a very simple system. Uh, you can change the design. Uh, you can add as much dialogue as you want into your um, dialogue file. So let's open this up again. So you can make this as long as you want. You have lots of different options. You can insert uh, different responses. You can insert random text. Um, so there's a few different things that you can do there. Anyway, I'll stop here uh, and I'll upload those things. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll try to uh, look at anything you guys are working on um, before we go.